guests here tonight. First of all, we have Mayor John Hollick. John, take a, a hand, a hand wave or a bow or something so we know where you are, thank you. Past Chamber Chair, Andrea Cooper. Andrea here. And our most beloved Senator, Nancy Dieter. Nancy, being a former realtor here at the board, has a, a, has a soft spot for this. I also want to take a moment to uh, introduce our mortgage broker, who is responsible for the mortgage on our place, Bill Jarema. Bill, there he is. And now for a moment of how we got from there to here. Our building chair, Jerry Raj. It's been a long time to get to here. The building committee actually was formed back in 2004 and it really in the beginning was to look at issues with the existing building. Uh, that was built in 1981. By late 05, uh, we began to face some serious issues with, with the building and also began then to look at the possibility of building a new building. Uh, we were offered a piece of property in, an, in exchange, in effect, although there was cash involved. Do you remember what that was called uh, in an exchange? Boot. I think that was on my continuing ed last month. Um, we drew plans and uh, we were hopeful that we would be able to go ahead with that project. Uh, was presented to the membership at about the time everything really went down and the membership decided against building uh, at that time. During 09 and 10, uh, we did some repair work on the existing building, but we began to lose uh, some of the essential systems were really giving us problems. Uh, electrical wasn't too bad of a deal, although the building certainly could uh, stand to be updated, but we were having enormous problems with the sewer lines, um, and in general that building was and is functionally obsolete. We went through a series of different ideas, things to improve the building, doing additions to it, uh, and every time we turned around, uh, and if the basis was that building, we ran into a hornet's nest of additional problems. Uh, we needed to bring everything up to code. We needed to be ADA compliant. Uh, we needed more space and the cost of improving that building simply uh, didn't make any sense. And so we began to look here on our own property. We had the designs uh, that were drawn by the architect for the other site and we used that uh, as the beginning for here. The membership uh, last year approved the building and there has been an, an enormous amount of work behind the scenes, things that you just don't even think about. Um, after that vote of the membership, we went full steam ahead, but there were an awful lot of icebergs. We're now to the point where we are indeed going to break ground on the building. You're standing in it. Uh, the outline of the building is drawn, the major rooms are drawn, and all of you fit inside of it quite nicely. The entry doors are way to the rear there. I want to thank all of the officers, directors, past, present, and for 2013 for their support on this project. I want to say a special thank you to the construction man managers from J2 Solutions, Jess Frankowiak and David Fouché. 
They have gone above and beyond. Our site engineer, Mr. Houghton, who unfortunately isn't with us this evening, he's the one that had to uh, swim the muddy waters of swift mud, for example, um, with Florida Department of Transportation because we're going out in there right away. Um, an enormous amount of work was done by Bill. And a particular thank you to our beleaguered architect, Julio Claret. J2, we need better quality. <laughs> Julio, um, unfortunately, also could not make it tonight. He sent his apologies just prior to our getting started. But I can tell you, we wouldn't be here without the patience, the understanding, the cooperation, and the incredibly hard work of those four people. Tonight we're here with gold shovels for a ceremonial groundbreaking. The next time we assemble back here on this site, I'm going to have a shiny pair of scissors to cut the ribbon for our new home.